what is going on youtube it's your boy nevin the barber and i'm back again today with another barber tutorial in today's video we're going to be going over a blowout taper with a slick back on top so with the first step that i'm going to be doing in this uh blowout taper i'm going to go ahead and carve in my first bald line and you guys can see that i kept it right beneath my client's ear just because we do want to keep this blowout low and after that, I went with the lever all the way open, followed by the one and a half guard all the way open. So you guys can see we have our three guidelines, starting with our skin line, our half line, and now our one and a half line. And I'm gonna begin taking out some of the bulk on the parietal ridge, doing some clipper over comb. And this right here is basically blending in the one and a half guard into the bulk, just so we don't have to go through the bigger guards to take out that guideline. And once we have that done, I went ahead and put on the half guard all the way open just to erase that middle line, blending in the half guard into the one and a half guard. And you guys can see that with these simple steps, I was able to execute this blowout taper very easily. And now with this last step, I just went ahead and did clipper closed. So it's now cutting the hair down to a zero. And I, I do have my clippers zero gapped. So this last step was very easy for me to execute just because I can cut the hair all the way down to the skin. And now that we have our blowout taper done on the left side, I'll go ahead and edge up my client. And whenever I do my edge ups, I always personally like to start off with the C cup. I like to get a nice crispy C cup before I edge up the front of my client's hairline. And you guys can see that I started right at the top and I connected it um, at the bottom of his sideburn and I personally like to do it this way just because it's, it, it keeps it nice and sharp right at the natural hairline And now that we have our C cup done, I'll go ahead and edge up the front hairline and same thing on the front hairline You guys don't want to push it back. Just tap it right at that natural line and now that we have the C cup done, it's very simple to just come back and tap in that natural hairline so we can get a nice crispy edge up. And we're going to be doing the same exact steps on the right side of this blowout taper. You guys can see I'm using my gamma hitters. Again, these are zero gapped right here. So I was able to easily execute that first initial bald line. And now that we got it down to the skin, we're gonna go ahead and do lever open. So this is cutting the hair down to a 0.5 length right here, right above our skin line. And now we're gonna do the one and a half guard all the way open. So now we're cutting the hair down to a short number two guard. And again, you guys can see the three guidelines that we just created, the skin line, the half and the one and a half open. And we're gonna follow that doing some clipper over comb with the guard on just to be safe. If you guys are beginners at doing clipper over comb, I always recommend using the guard. And after that step, I went ahead and erased my middle line with the half guard, just doing some lever play. You guys will always have to do lever play whenever doing this, depending on your client's growth pattern on their scalp. And now with our last step, we're gonna do lever all the way closed just to come back and knock out our skin line. And same thing, you guys always wanna do lever play, ensuring that you can get the most blurry blend for each section that you guys are doing this in. And just how we lined up the other side, we're gonna do the same thing on this side, starting with our C cup. And after we have our C cup carved in, we'll come back to the front and again, you guys always wanna make sure that you are very precise with doing this the same exact way on both sides. That way your client gets a nice, clean, crispy edge up. This right here is one of the most important parts of the haircut. So always be sure you guys go back and put all those extra details you need to put in for that front hairline. And now for the back, I'm gonna do the same exact method that we did on the sides just showing you guys how effective this method really is. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna carve in my first initial bald line using my gamma hitters. And we're gonna follow that using the gamma shaver just to knock down all that stubble down to the skin. And once we have that done, 
I'll come back to my clippers with the lever all the way open, carving in my next guideline, which is cutting the hair down to a 0.5 length. And now we're gonna use the half guard to blend the 0.5 into the one guard open. So with these two steps, you guys can see that I was easily able to clean out the bulk and blend up into the one and a half guard. And now that I have that section blended out, I went ahead and did some clipper over comb just to get a cleaner transition into the bulk. And now using my one guard all the way open, I'm just putting in a few more details, doing some lever play, erasing any last dark areas that I see on the top of my taper. And now I'm gonna go back, lining up my client behind his ear. And with this same thing, you guys just wanna clean up all those little baby hairs right at, right at their natural hairline. Of course, you want it to look nice and crispy at the same time. There's just no need to dig all the way into their hairline. So just make sure your edges are zero gapped so you guys can get a nice crispy line when doing this. And then you guys can follow it with the razor, using a razor against the grain of those baby hairs just to really make it pop out. Most barbers don't, you know, take all the extra time to put these details in so if you guys are doing this your client will appreciate it and it'll probably increase your chances of retainment on the cut too so never be afraid to go back and take those five to ten extra minutes to really detail your fade and make all those imperfections stand out and you guys can see right here i went ahead and used the razor against the grain of my client's hairline and what this is basically doing is just making that, that line stand out five times more than, than just using the trimmers. And for the top, I'm gonna go ahead and create a middle guideline on the apex of my client's scalp, following it all the way back to the occipital bone. And you guys can see that I'm, that I'm just point cutting a half an inch off the top. My client just wanted a very short trim with some texture in his hair. So I went ahead and used my point cutting technique using my Nevin the Barber shears. And on the sides in the back, you guys can see that I'm just laying my hands throughout the parietal ridge and the occipital bone. You don't ever wanna cut into it because it will create a gash on the apex and crown of your client's scalp. So whenever you guys are using shears, always be sure that you know, you're being very precise with, with how you guys are point cutting and cutting the hair. And to finish off this blend, I went ahead and did some shear over comb and some point cutting. I always personally like to use my shears and all of my haircuts just because I feel like it gives it more of a smoother transition in the darker areas and the more bulkier areas of my blend. And you guys can see that I just roll that comb out at a 45 degree angle off the scalp. And I always follow my shear over comb with some point cutting, just making sure that I get all those dark areas out, getting the most possible blurry blend I can get. And that is pretty much it for today's barber tutorial. If you guys have learned anything in today's video, I would appreciate any feedback. Please be sure to hit that like button, drop a comment and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. But again, thank you for anybody who has tuned in this far throughout the video. I do appreciate all of my viewers. And if you guys do want to save some money on these clippers right here, feel free to use my code NEVIN10 to get yourself a discount on the Gamma website. I do highly recommend these clippers and you guys can purchase all the clippers that I used in this video. Um, and again, like I said, if you do want a discount, feel free to use my code NEVIN10. I will be sure to include that in the description for you guys. And one more time, I'm just going over my hairline with my, with my detailers, just ensuring that I knocked off all those flyaways. And I am going to style my client's hair with some styling powder. What this is doing is just giving his hair more volume on top, giving it a nice matte texturized look. And I do always like to style my client's hair before they leave my chair. Again, little things like this will increase your chances of retainment and help you guys getting tips on top of your service. 
but that is going to be it for today's video again if you guys learned anything please be sure to hit that like button drop a comment and subscribe to my channel and with that being said my name is nevin the barber and i'm out i'll see you guys in the next one